Hypothetical situation seven. You are confronted with four out of control horses pulling a wagon over a cliff. There's a rescue we haven't had. Yet. Do you A, tell the sheriff, B, unhitch the wagon, or C, stop reading that book. Heatwave, I am merely attempting to make sure we are prepared for any rescue eventuality. We've handled plenty of weird rescues together. It would take an awful lot to phase our team. That's Optimus Prime's alert. Optimus, sir, rescue team Sigma-17 awaiting orders. This mission is for you alone, Heatwave. You have proven yourself ready for a new responsibility. It is time you grow into the leader you were meant to be. Thank you, sir. But my team will stay on Griffin Rock while you meet me at a secret mainland facility. Come immediately. I will send coordinates. But sir, I... Consider our team phased. Hey, here it is, Dad. <sighs> it's about time we got Grandpa's Zachary cleaned up. <sighs> Framer said they could even restore this old wood. I still don't get why Dr. Morocco gave us this picture. Seems too... nice. Right? Especially after he tried to steal the rest of Great Gramps' ship. Well, I'm glad we have this. Whatever Morocco's motivation was. Finally! A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's laying a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Rescue Go to the rescue. Heroes indeed. Go to the rescue. Chief Burns, I need to request a leave of absence. Optimus Prime summoned me to the mainland. Robots with personalities. Now this is positively riveting. Permission granted, Heatwave. What's this about? I'm uh, not sure, sir. I don't even know how long I'll be gone. When do you have to go, Heatwave? I'm probably already late. But, hey, I might have time to take you to school on the way. We'll all come. I need to drop this off downtown anyhow. Emotions. A sense of duty. I know humans with less. If that artificial intelligence programming is as advanced as it appears, this begs a little hands-on research. Remember, if you need me, call me on my comm. Chase, you're in charge while I'm gone. Boulder, keep an eye on Cody for me. And Blades, don't stay up late watching horror movies. I won't be around to help you hunt zombie hamsters. That was one time. <sighs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. Heatwave, you have prepared us for every eventuality. Except, of course, the runaway wagon. We'll be fine. Right, I know. But if you're not, call me on my comm. What's up, Doc? Not wascally wabbits, I'm afraid. There appears to be a strange storm front moving toward the island at an alarming rate. Images from my weather balloon show what looks like a tornado. We have to warn the island. Griffin Rock's not equipped to handle that kind of weather. I have a new invention that may be able to untwist that twister, if you can spare Danny and Blades. Team, we have a real emergency. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Optimus will understand if I'm a little late. <laughs> Sir, it appears the tornado is getting closer. Get into the basement, now! Wait, Kate! Look! Go inside, Cody. We'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, who wants a free ride in a fire truck? Huh? Come on! Heat wave! Get back 
Boulder! The storm's too strong! Good thing I'm stronger! Power up and energize! I know I'm no weather expert, but shouldn't we be flying away from the tornado? Actually, we need to get even closer. When we're directly above it, we drop this. The tornado don't. My own personal invention. Inside the twister, this canister will explode and change the charge of the storm's particles, stopping it cold. Or it should. I've been hoping to test it. Test it? Don't mind if I do. <sighs> It's a good thing you came through for us, Doc. That tornado would have caused some serious damage. It seemed like suddenly it just appeared without any warning. That's the odd part. I want a closer look at that weather data. We'll take you back to the lab. No need, Heatwave. You have somewhere more important to be. <sighs> Remember, if you need me, call, call you, you on, on your calm. calm. This is it. Time to get out. Uh, no. I'm coming along. Kate, Optimus didn't invite you. Well, someone's gotta drive. Besides, I thought old OP was big on bots working with humans. <sighs> Fine. Just don't embarrass me, all right? Hi, son. School get out early? Yeah, our teacher was gonna jump me after the tornado. Then this would knock her knee socks off. That storm manifested out of a clear blue sky. Like magic. No, like science. Doesn't that blue beam remind you of something? The weather machine. Hmm. It appears ours is still on the best left forgotten shelf. Yours? You mean there are others? A prototype may have been created first. Let's see. Yes. My records show that an early version of the weather machine should have been delivered here in 1966. But it never arrived. 1966? That's the year Great Grandpa's ship was lost. The last person to have access to the tech aboard it was... Dr. Morocco. Well, this is disappointing. Apparently, a tornado just isn't enough to cause an island-wide evacuation anymore. It seems I must do something a bit more to squeeze him. I do hope no one's flying the kite. Shaking bacon. Sir, my partner insisted on accompanying me to. Nothing much, Double Dutch. I too have learned from humans. I have summoned you here because you have proven yourself worthy for the next step in Rescue Bot's leadership a third form. Preparation for your rescan will require tremendous energy and concentration, but I am certain you are prepared for the ordeal. Thank you, sir. Um, a little lost here. What is the ordeal exactly? Look, I have two forms, right? Bot and fire truck. But now I can scan a new vehicle and change into that as my third mode. Oh, pick something fast and convertible. Haley would love that. Or a jet. We'd fly circles around, Danny. Hey, hey, what about a train? 
Gee, why stop there? What about a space shuttle? Sometimes you do not choose the vehicle. The vehicle chooses you. And there will be plenty of time for that later once you learn to harness the energy within. First, you must reach into your spark to find inner strength. If Dr. Morocco truly does have a weather machine, I bet you all the powers of 10 in Avogadro's number that he'll use it again. Boom. Sounds like he already has. That doesn't look like any setting on the weather machine. No doubt Morocco souped up the technology. And not a good soup like chicken noodle. Chase, are you all right? Yes, sir. But I do not wish to attempt such an encounter again. Perhaps we should take shelter. The communications tower! <laughs> Comms are out. Phones must be, too. Doc, I'm declaring this a full-scale emergency. Good thing Boulder and Graham reinforced the sanctuary caverns. I already sent Frankie to the caves with supplies. And as many board games as she could carry. But, Dad, don't we have to stop Dr. Morocco? First, we have to make sure everyone's safe, son. I still can't reach Dad. Any luck with Heatwave? No answer. But we know what he would say. Protect the humans. Dad would tell us to follow protocol. That means getting everyone we can to the sanctuary caves under Mount Griffin. Ah! Heatwave will be sad he missed this. <laughs> Take the tunnels to the caves. Tell everybody you see. Boulder! Over here! Climb aboard. That should be enough to keep the Burns family busy for days. Which makes it a ducky time for a visit. Is he supposed to do that? Yes. It is a normal part of the energy focusing process. Okay. Because if anything happens to him... Your concern does you justice. I can see why Heatwave cherishes your partnership. He... he said that? Not in so many words. <sighs> I feel like Boulder ran me over. You're gonna be fine, buddy. Buddy? Uh, did something happen while I was out? Heatwave, you have successfully focused your energy for a rescan. I am impressed. Few succeed on their first try. Thank you, sir. Oh! Easy. You will be weak until you fully recover. But you may scan your new vehicle mode whenever you find the one that is right. How neighborly. An open door. No security system, but trusting. dealing with amateurs. Incredible! This technology is even more advanced than the robots. But where on earth did the Burns family find it? Sigma-17 ship log. Rescue bots reporting. We are departing Cybertron on a routine patrol to the Quintessa Quadrant. Not on earth at all. Danny. Where's Graham? Right behind us with the Rubios. Thank goodness. Now everyone's accounted for. Nice work, team. But how'd you know I'd implement the sanctuary plan?
Communications were down, so we just followed procedure. It looks like we're dealing with a weather machine. According to Doc's calculations, it's out in the ocean at these coordinates. We'll take the Darby Ava. Careful coming aboard, team. This isn't swimming weather. Didn't you hear the forecast? 100% chance of fire. day to lose our firefighters. Heatwave, does that look like smoke to you? Better call Chief just in case. Dad's not picking up. Heatwave to Sigma-17. Come in, rescue bots. I'll try the ferry's radio. <laughs> Captain Shaw, is something wrong? Aye. I can't erase the harbormaster by phone or radio, and the dock is covered in flames. We have to get back to the island, now. Can't this rust bucket go any faster? Not in this part of the sea. Boneyard of shipwrecks lies below us. We put on any speed, we're likely to join them. Uh, some leader I am. Stuck out here when my team needs me most. Maybe we can hitchhike on a faster boat. There's one. A swamped fireboat. You're kidding, right? How is it supposed to help us down there? It doesn't look damaged. Besides, sometimes the vehicle chooses you, remember? See you, Cap'n. We're catching another ride. Something's not right about those Burns kids. Changing into a boat and see how well you do. Uh, well, that's the horn. Let's see what this one does. No, Daddy! Good job. Thanks for the save. Where'd you get the boat? The boat has a name, and you're welcome. Heatwave? How is it possible? I'm clearly missing something here. Heatwave, we owe you one. But now, you need to go shut off the weather machine causing this. It's just east of the 49th buoy. On my way. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, still getting the hang of this. This new form. 
What do you think, Cade? I think I'm getting seasick. So, how exactly does rescanning work? I mean, say hypothetically, a bot didn't want to fly anymore? It's not easy. I had to get Optimus's permission first. And I'm still exhausted, even with his help. Sorry, Blades. What made you think I was talking about me? <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? The framing shop found something strange while they were restoring Grandpa's picture. A camera was hidden inside. Whoa. Morocco was spying on us? How much do you think he saw? That is not our only concern. The rogue was in our classified bunker. I have not yet cataloged all that is missing, but it is certain that things were stolen. The weather disasters must have been a plan to keep us busy. So, if Dr. Morocco knows our secret, what's his next move? I will no longer be focusing on upgrading my morbots. However, I now have access to the most advanced technology the world has ever seen. And it can be yours <laughs> for an appropriate fee.